I got 10 years to fill a stadium, but only two minutes to fill your cranium. Humble the poet, signing in. Okay, we're gonna try something different for a little bit. Shorter videos, let's see if we can drop them more often. So who promised you life would be fair? Most likely no one. But if somebody did, mm-hmm, they lied. You didn't get to decide where you were born. You didn't get to decide who your family was. You don't get to decide how many fingers you have. Whether you have blue eyes or green eyes or gray eyes or brown eyes or two different color eyes like Mila Kunis. God damn, she's so hot. We have very little control over these and other things in our life. But for some reason, we still think that we should be entitled to certain things. Happiness, justice, peace, fairness. And that probably comes from the fact that we have a lot of free time on our hands because we're not busy trying to survive don't die today don't die today and no surviving is not working your shit job to pay your phone bill surviving is walking for half a day just to get some clean drinking water and also you got access to the internet which over half the planet still doesn't have so that gives you a chance to look at other people's shit and then compare your shit to their shit and then feel like shit because they do a better job of pretending that their shit is better than yours because i know you're not going online to watch videos of people who are less fortunate than you Wow, I'm so grateful for all the things I have after watching and learning about all the people who have less than I do. And I don't blame you. I actually think comparing ourselves to people who are better or worse off is pointless. Because no matter who you are, your best day is going to be your best day. And your worst day is going to be your worst day. It doesn't matter who you're comparing it to. The problem is when we think life sucks because we have an image in our head of how we think it should be. I.e. expectations. And then that doesn't match with what's in front of us. I.e. reality. So then we have two choices. Adjust the expectations and adjust our reality. Notice how complaining and feeling sorry for yourself isn't on the list. So stop fucking doing it. It does you no good and it'll suck your energy until you have nothing left. And that's it. So whether you get cancer at the age of six or win the lottery after pushing an old lady down the Stairs. The universe does what the universe does. And I know you want to feel special and think the universe is thinking just about you when it does it, but it's not. This isn't the movies. Everything will not end happily ever after. I know that's a tough pill to swallow. So if staring at my beard helps you during this difficult process, stare away. Mm -mm -mm. Staring at my beard. Y'all staring at my beard to help deal with the harsh realities of life. So just remember, look at your expectations and look at your reality and realize you have the power to adjust both of them. And you'll be smiling more the closer you can bring them together. And if you want my opinion, because you know I have a beard, that means I'm wise. Focus on raising your reality instead of lowering your expectations. Because even if you have out of this world expectations, all you really need is patience, and a lot of persistence to bring them to life. As my man Terrell Owens said, if you align expectations with reality, you will never be disappointed. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. If you like the way I think or the things I say, check out my book, Unlearn. You can get yourself a copy at unlearn101.com or Amazon, or you can plug your headphones into the book and listen to me reading it to you in my sexy mumbly voice at unlearnaudio.com. I'm also coming out with a second book. I don't have a title for it yet, but I'll make a big announcement. <clears throat> I'm also gonna make a big announcement soon about the second book, which should be coming out real soon once I finish writing it and give it a title. As always, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate the time you took to watch this. Please leave a comment below. I try to reply to comments in the first hour of releasing the videos. Share this with somebody that you care about and somebody that you don't. Much love. Is swearing wrong? I'm a rapper and I swear all the time. And there are rappers out there that don't swear. Probably the most popular one is Will Smith. If you were too young to realize that Will Smith started as a rapper, there's also Chameleon there. They see me rolling, something, 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 riding dirty. Could have catch me riding dirty. Could have catch me riding dirty. He did a really good job. I didn't even realize he never swore. So is it necessary to swear when you rap? Of course not. But for me, the real question is, is it necessary to swear when you communicate? And for me, the answer is going to be, yeah, sometimes.